Hi guys, welcome to Android Guide. So today we will be checking out uh, Havoc OS 2.1. Now right off the bat, this is uh, my favorite ROM right now, and uh, that is because of uh, the number of uh, customizations it has to offer. Okay, um, the Android version is six, and uh, it comes in uh, with the, the January 5 security patch. So if your uh, device is uh, supported officially, then uh, you don't have to worry about uh, any of uh, the security patches because. Uh, all the officially supported devices are updated regularly with the latest patches. Okay, so most of the ROM customizations are present under Havoc settings. First up, we have got the status bar settings. Double tap to sleep is there. We have then got brightness control, quick pull down, smart pull down. Then we have got clock settings. You can change the location of the clock, left, center, or right. Then there is AM, PM. Um, currently, it should be showing AM, PM, but it is not for some reason. Um, okay now it does and uh, there are a couple of uh, font sizes that you can try out then you can show the, uh, the settings if you want to uh, seconds if you want to then uh, there are uh, you can change the font size um, and uh, font style can be changed as well and there are a number of options for that too then uh, we have got uh, uh, customizations for uh, the font color you can change that and date if you want to show that then uh, there are similar settings for that too. next we have got uh, breathing notifications you have got those for sms missed call and uh, voicemail then we have got uh, battery style settings you can uh, change how the battery icon should look like and by the way you would you will notice a small uh, ui bug here that uh, the volty icon is uh, not showing up completely so that's just a minor bug uh, so this is the portrait icon this is the circle icon this is the dotted circle icon and then if you simply want to show the battery percentage as a text you can do that and if you opt for a battery icon then uh, you can show the battery percentage either uh, next to it or inside the icon then we have got uh, the battery bar you can change the location top of status bar top of navigation bar or at the bottom of the navigation bar um so i will choose status bar but uh, the problem with that is i'll quickly go ahead and uh, change the thickness first so um and in fact i'll change the color to maybe something dark uh in fact no um let me choose yeah now you can see that uh, the problem with the, this is that in uh, phones with notches uh, the you won't be able uh, to see the uh, battery bar so you can uh, opt for another location maybe top of the navigation bar or uh, the bottom of the navigation bar and uh, then you can uh, change the battery bar thickness obviously there are four options in here and then you can change the battery bar color the charging color the low battery color and then uh, there is a charging animation that uh, you can make use of and then if you want to have a gradient color to show you uh, a mix of uh, the low level color and the high level color so when uh, your uh, battery is uh, maybe 90 or uh, uh, in the 90s then uh, you would be getting this uh, high level color and when the battery is low maybe a single digit number then uh, you will be getting this low level color and when it is uh, in between then it will be a combination of uh, these two colors so you can customize that then we have got uh, network uh, traffic locations uh, this is basically the location of uh, the network traffic indicators whether you want that to be shown in the status bar and uh, when you choose uh, status bar then uh, uh, the network traffic indicators are also shown in uh, the quick setting header and uh, you can also choose uh, whether uh, you want uh, uh, the network activity to be shown for upload speeds download speeds or both of them and uh, you can't configure the unit but uh, i think it was the uh, megabits per second and uh, then you can uh, change the network activity auto high threshold so this is this should be in uh, kbps and uh, then we have got uh, network activity arrows if you want to show the network traffic indicator arrows and uh, then if you want uh, wi-fi data indicators to be shown alongside uh, the wi-fi icon then uh, you can enable this option right now as you can see we have got uh, data indicators beside the wi-fi icon so that means uh, the wi-fi data is being used by some app then you have got carrier label settings you can change the location of the carrier label you can enter custom carrier label you can adjust the font size uh, the font style and uh, also the carrier label color after that you can we have got uh, settings for uh, the status bar icons you can enable or uh, disable a bunch of the icons and uh, 
following that you can show the notification count display the number of pending notifications so if you have got multiple notifications from a single app then if you want to show the notification count for that then you can enable this option then we have got bluetooth battery status volt e icon i'll just disable that and it doesn't get disabled but yeah now it does and uh, now you can see that it's uh, overlapping with the cast icon so i'll just quickly go ahead and uh, toggle that off too yeah okay and uh, then we have got uh, if you want to use the old mobile style icons that is if you want to merge the signal and uh, the type icons then uh, there is an option for that then if you want to show 4g instead of lte there is an option for that and then if you want uh, to show the data disabled icon you can do that this will uh, basically show a cross sign on uh, the mobile data signal in fact i will do that right now and now you can see that there is this cross sign uh, which means that uh, the data is disabled okay quick settings uh, you can uh, configure uh, the grid size in uh, both the landscape and the portrait mode and then uh, you can uh, tweak the number of uh, columns that you want in the quick bar so say if i'll just adjust this option to seven then uh, here you can see that uh, the number of uh, quick setting toggles has uh, changed to seven this is six by default by the way then uh, you can enable or disable the, or whatever items you want in uh, the quick settings panel you can enable or disable the brightness slider move the brightness slider to the bottom i have done that right now and uh, you can uh, add an auto brightness icon if you want to then uh, you can configure its placement and uh, if you want uh, buttons to be shown alongside uh, the brightness slider these are uh, those buttons then uh, you can enable or disable them then uh, if you want uh, the quick setting uh, labels to be displayed below those uh, toggles then uh, you can enable or disable them when i turn them off then you can uh, see that uh, the labels are gone then there is vibrate on touch then we have uh, information header i haven't been able to make out uh, its use basically it's i don't know it, uh, the quick settings panel uh, just appears to be the same to me every time uh, whether i enable or disable this option uh, the description says that it's for showing information on uh, top of the quick settings panel but uh, i haven't been able to make out uh, its uh, use so far anyway um then we have got a drag handle if you want uh, uh, there is a handle that shows up we are uh, talking about uh, this handle so if you don't want uh, the handle to be shown then uh, you can just turn it off then we have got uh, quick settings footer warnings so when you are connected to a vpn whether you want a warning to be displayed at uh, the bottom of the quick settings panel you can enable or disable that then uh, you can customize the items uh, that have to be shown in the quick settings panel footer and uh, since we are talking about uh, the quick settings panel i would uh, quickly like to show you the quick setting tiles that we get with the rom these are uh, the tiles that are enabled by default and uh, these are the ones that you can add on so a lot of options to choose from and uh, this just uh, gives you a clue on uh, how much how many features uh, the rom packs in there are so, so many number of uh, quick setting toggles and there are so many number of features okay moving on to interface settings first up we have got uh, ui style uh, you can uh, choose between uh, the pixel style uh, uh, layout or uh, you can opt for aosp as well and uh, when you choose aosp uh, it will uh, do a system ui restart and you can see that uh, the quick setting panel background that was uh, uh, previously that was uh, the accent color pixel blue and uh, now we have this uh, teal style accent color then uh, you can uh, choose uh, the background color light dark or black and uh, similarly you can uh, choose the notification color light dark or black and if you choose for black then uh, it will again do a system you restart and now you can see that uh, hi Krypton. i'm your assistant here to help you throughout your day here are some things you can try saying to get started okay i don't know why google assistant spoke up then but uh, what i was saying was that when you change the notification color then um, it will do a system where restart and uh, then you can uh, change the accent color and there are a number of options to choose from there are some user requested accent colors too so a lot of options then uh, you can uh, we have got the quick setting themes so you can uh, if you want to use uh, just uh, the default colors then uh, have this option enabled because uh, if this option is turned off then uh, you won't be able to use uh, substratum themes on uh, 
uh, the quick settings panel so uh, you can uh, enable this if you want to then uh, if you want uh, to use uh, the wallpaper colors to set the quick settings uh, background color then uh, there is an option for that you can choose the quick settings panel color then there is uh, the panel opacity you can configure uh, the header style right now i have uh, set uh, the header style to as uh, accent uh, based and uh, there you can see that uh, we have uh, the teal uh, accent color in the quick settings background and uh, then you can also choose between the quick settings style style there are a lot of options and uh, if you like uh, this is the ninja style by the way so i'll just in fact show you a couple of them this is the teardrop style um and uh, oreo style i think uh, you would be familiar with that that's basically stock uh, how the quick settings look like in android oreo if you want to have that uh, there is an option for that and uh, personally i like uh, the dual tone circle because it uh, it uh, gives you this in fact i will just quickly go back and uh, set the accent color to as pixel because uh now when i open Hi, it up Kriton. i'm your assistant here to help you throughout your day here are some things you can try saying to get started okay so <laughs> i know it in the assistant just got triggered once again so i will quickly go back and i'll use the default colors and now you can uh, see that uh, dual toned uh, circle in there the lower uh, semicircle is uh, light blue and uh, the upper one is uh, dark blue so i personally like this one you can uh, choose from uh, all the options that are available and uh, in the end we have got a font manager uh, there are a number of uh, pre-built fonts you can uh, choose from any one of them and uh, then you can configure uh, the font size there you can also configure uh, the display size the smallest width this is basically the dpi then uh, switch appearance you can uh, either choose from uh, the material design 2 switches or one plus switches or default switches so these are the one plus switches and these are the material design 2 switches and then we have got the default switches mm. okay so you can choose from anything that you want then uh, dashboard icons rounded accent color rounded rounded with the oneplus style or oreo or and oreo based accent dashboard icon so there are a lot of options to choose from then in the end you can enable or disable dashboard conditions and suggestions okay ambient display you can choose to have a, a ambient music ticker if you want to have that and then you can choose when ambient display should be triggered and uh, you can also configure uh, which all uh, elements should show up on ambient display you can enable or disable the battery level and uh, then there are uh, a number of options uh, to choose from uh, you can uh, uh, these options will be get enabled when uh, you have got new notifications enabled so you can uh, configure uh, if when uh, should ambient display show up okay screen settings so the first option is for uh, tweaking uh, the radius of uh, the corners if you want uh, to customize uh, the corners of uh, the screen then uh, you can uh, tweak these values if you are that is if you are not satisfied uh, with the stock values then we have got an option uh, to hide the notch and this option is also there under the display settings you can uh, choose how if you are interested in uh, having a display cut out then uh, you can uh, choose from a number of options this is the normal style and uh, the immersive option will just basically hide the notch it will uh, turn the status bar to black and uh, that is it what it will do um, and then if you want to hide the display cutout then uh, this will uh, uh, just push the status bar down below the notch but uh, one problem in here is that uh, the corners are rounded as you can see uh, in at uh, the bottom of the screen but uh, the corners are not rounded when uh, the status bar was pushed below the notch so uh, i personally don't like that um, and in fact i'll just uh, change this to normal and then uh, there is an option for uh, smart pixels you can enable this if you want to reduce your uh, power consumptions this is uh, particularly useful for uh, devices with amoled panels uh, then you can uh, change the percent of pixels to disable and uh, prevent burn in by shifting pixels every 
you can uh, change the time limit and auto enable on battery saver you can change that option too i'll just toggle this off then in the end we have got uh, screen stabilization and basically what this will do is if i shake my device right now i am uh, holding the phone in the hand and i am uh, moving the phone around so you can see that uh, the screen is uh, also moving accordingly uh, the rationale of including this uh, feature was that uh, when you are walking you don't want uh, you know when you are walking you want your eyes to continue focusing on uh, what they were looking at so this basically just uh, changes the screen contents as per uh, how you are uh, moving so the havoc os team uh, believes that uh, this will uh, help you in uh, better reading or uh, or in uh, better using your phone when you are uh, moving so that's uh, that's the logic behind including this feature actually this was an exposed module and uh, uh, they have now included this uh, into uh, havoc os this was there in oreo as well and uh, if you are not satisfied with the, the values then you can change the velocity friction position friction and velocity amplitude and if you want to know more details about uh, what all these values do then um, i'll be having an xda thread linked in the description box it's basically an xda thread for uh, this very exposed module and it tells you on uh, what uh, each of these uh, value does and uh, in case you are not that much into reading then uh, i have already opened that up uh, or you can just read through the info here pause the video and uh, read through the info and you will get an idea on uh, what each setting does okay so i'll move on and then we have got uh, button settings so you can uh, choose what uh, what all want you want to show in the power menu on the go mode is in there then uh, you can choose whether uh, you want uh, the power menu to be shown on the lock screen advanced report you can enable or disable that okay and then you have got a screen of uh, power button torch basically you can long press the torch when the screen is off to enable the torch and uh, you can uh, uh, set a time limit for the torch as well and in the end we have got uh, settings for uh, the volume rockers you can have uh, the volume panel on the left by default uh, the panels on the right if you want that on the left side then uh, you can enable this option control the link volume instead of uh, the media one then uh, you can select configure uh, the volume dialog timeout volume steps can be configured the minimum limit is uh, five steps and uh, the maximum value is uh, 60 steps and uh, you can configure voice call system ringer notification music ttmf and alarm okay so keyboard cursor control that is there then uh, reorient volume keys when the device is rotated you have got uh, playback control use the volume keys to wake the device use the volume keys to answer the call everything is in there and uh, you can also enable what all you want to be shown in the volume dialog when you enable all the options this is how it uh, looks like okay so going back now we will uh, get to the navigation bar so you can enable or disable the navigation bar from uh, the master switch and uh, then you can uh, choose if you want to have uh, the default navigation mode smart bar or flink um i have already done a dedicated video for uh, a dirty unicorns interface package and that includes smart bar fling and pulse so i won't be covering those up here you can check that video out in the description uh, but uh, one thing that i would like to cover up here is uh, i would like to show you the shortcuts that are present under uh, smart bar and fling um so i'll just start the smart bar editor and now when i tip on, click on actions double tap select custom actions so this is the list of actions that is there and the one thing that i like here is that uh, they have included the one-handed mode so my personal setup is that uh, i have uh, set a uh, double press of uh, the back key to trigger one-handed mode on the left side and double pressing the recent key to trigger one-handed mode on the right side so you can uh, use this if you want to and uh, if you use uh, the default navigation mode too then uh, also there are a couple of settings uh, so you can have gestures but uh, for that you will have to disable the navigation bar entirely and uh, then uh, you can uh, configure the animation this is the pixel style animation that is being used currently and then there is the 100 mode that you can trigger by swiping on the navigation bar and in the end you can customize the layout you can swap the volume and the recent key and uh, you can change the layout um then if you want to add an extra left button or right button you can do that okay so i'll just go back to flink 
uh, smart bar and uh, you can adjust uh, the portrait height the landscape width and uh, pulse is there i have a or there's already a video linked in the description if you want to know more about pulse gestures okay so you have got uh, jump to camera and uh, prevent ringing that is uh, this is double tap the power key to launch the camera and uh, prevent ringing by present by pressing the power and volume up key simultaneously and uh, then we have got uh, the swipe the three finger gesture to take a screenshot and then we have got uh, swipe gestures so uh, the default value is uh, that you can use two fingers to trigger a, a gesture i'll quickly just give you a demo um let me say that uh, when i swipe two fingers to the right then it will take a screenshot there you go so uh, you can uh, have uh, any gestures and uh, these are all the options that you get you can even launch an application so there are a lot of options to choose from this is a highly customizable rom and uh, for uh, swipe gestures we have got uh, both the pixel uh, we have got both the uh, pi gestures and uh, we also have got uh, those gestures which are uh, there in mi ui so you can uh, i will just quickly go ahead and disable the navigation bar first up so there we go i will uh, go to gestures now and there we have so you uh, a swipe from uh, the left or uh, the right side uh, will uh, take you back and uh, if you just do a quick swipe from uh, the bottom center then uh, you go to home and you press and hold that will open up recents okay and then you can configure the swipe trigger height the swipe trigger timeout and if you don't want to use these gestures then uh, there are edge gestures um a swipe from uh, the left or uh, right side uh, will uh, take you back and uh, swipe uh, from uh, the bottom to go home or press and hold to open up the recent way i personally like uh, edge gestures more than uh, what uh, google introduced in pi so you can enable these or uh, that's really dependent on uh, your taste so just turn these off uh, i mostly prefer to stick to the navigation bar so yeah that it, in fact, it automatically switches on when you disable the gestures so now we'll get to the lock screen settings so we have got a double tap to sleep media cover art and then you can enable or disable the lock screen visualizer and you can enable or disable that for ambient display too and then if you want to use a custom color for the visualizer then you can tweak that and you can use hex color codes um then we have got some styles for the widgets you can enable or disable the clock entirely and uh, then we have got a couple of uh, styles for the clock um so i just hope google assistant doesn't get triggered this time this is digital bold uh, this is the analog style then this is sammy so there are a lot of options to choose from and this is sammy with accent this is the last one that i'll be showing you okay so a lot of options to choose from and then you can tweak uh, the clock font size and uh, then uh, you can change the font style <laughs> so you can you can see how much you can customize this form uh, then you can uh, configure the items underneath the clock so if you want uh, then you can change the date font size then there are font styles for the date and uh, you can change the weather uh, unit celsius or fahrenheit and then uh, there are a number of options for unlocking face auto unlock is there fingerprint unlock if you don't want to use your pin pa pattern or password after you reboot your phone then uh, disable quick settings you can disable the status bar lock screen charging info you can customize the bottom shortcuts the middle lock screen shortcuts and uh, you can also hide them so <laughs> you can literally customize anything and everything in this one recents uh, you have got a number of options to choose from you can choose from uh, the quick step recents the stock stock recents are basically the ones that are uh, there in oreo or if you want then you can have android go style recents that is these are basically vertically stacked recents so and then if you want you can also have a quick step style recents so you can choose from anything that you want um i'll just stick to stock recents okay and then you can 
choose uh, what you want to be enabled or disabled in the stock regions you have got clear all button you can configure the location of the clear all button uh, then show memory bar recent styles uh, you can customize the recent icon and uh, you can also have custom recent styles you can enable uh, the animation of uh, the clear all button there are a lot of options for that and then you can uh, change each and every color of uh, the recent panel okay <laughs> so a lot of customizations and then you can even apply an icon pack but there are no icon packs that i have installed and then you can also hide uh, apps from uh, the recent panel if you want to do that lastly we have got uh, immersive recents so if you want uh, the recents to be hide the status bar or anything then uh, you can enable uh, full screen recents and uh, then you can configure if you just want to hide the status bar or only the navigation bar i will just go back to default and then you can choose or not whether or not you want to use the show clock and date when you are opting for full screen recents and uh, slim recents are there too by the way so if you just want to have a look at the settings then uh, this is what you get notifications uh, you can uh, change the battery charging color and obviously this setting is only applicable to those uh, phones which uh, have a multicolored led and uh, in the end you can also enable a color blend if you want to do that uh, then you have got uh, notification light you can enable or uh, disable which apps should be able to use the notification light uh, then we have got uh, blink flashlight on call only in ringer mode only in dnd always and disable force close notifications disable immersive mode messages then uh, we have got a uh, couple of customization for uh, heads up notifications and uh, less boring heads up notifications and then we have got the old school uh, ticker notifications and we have got the ticker animations fade or scroll and by the way if you don't remember these were uh, the notifications the ticker notifications were uh, used back in the days of uh, kit kat and jelly bean before uh, heads up was introduced by google in lollipop and then if you want to show or hide uh, the toast icon force expanded notifications kill app button and then uh, noisy notifications uh, you can uh, play sound and vibration for notifications when the screen is on you can enable or disable that and then we have got a bunch of in call vibration settings and these are uh, the ticker style notifications uh, that's what i'm talking about okay and yeah just because of the notch you are not able to see that but uh, those were uh, the ticker notifications next we have got uh, animations so you can uh, force disable all animations if you want to and uh, then you can customize all uh, the types of animations for, of the user interface and if you have got uh, list few animations too you can uh, change that this will if you are maybe scrolling through facebook or instagram then uh, this will uh, just uh, you can this list view animation will change that um and uh, then list view interpolator you can change that too and quick setting tiles animation flip and rotate uh, there are a lot of options and in fact this is the flip animation and uh, this is the rotate animation then you have got animations for uh, the power menu too and uh, we have got uh, screen off animations toast animations and in the end we have got uh, scrolling cache and uh, this was the list that i was talking about uh, this is wave right basically system settings you can allow signature scooping, uh, spoofing show the cpu info and uh, then we have got a privacy card for uh, blocking permissions you can uh, use this also as a tool to not only just combat uh, malicious apps but also you can uh, if you use this intelligently then you can also use this to save up uh, some of uh, but some battery life too so say if i don't want a kiwi browser to be able to access any of my private data and that includes contacts sms and all that so then i can just tap on this and it will uh, disable kiwi browser from accessing any of my personal data and in advance you can uh, change all those permissions so say if i can uh, disable uh, uh, the google play store to keep my device awake then probably i will end up saving some of my battery life so you can use this i have actually made a dedicated video on uh, privacy card to check that out uh, in the description um and then you can uh, choose and there is an activity blacklist so this is just for uh, those applications that you don't want to be shown up in uh, the share menu so you can configure that this is actually a pretty good option and then we have got uh, burn in protection so this will just uh, shift the status bar icons to prevent burn in 
and you can configure the shift interval IME settings you can uh, have uh, input method notifications if you want to enable or disable this option this is up to you then uh, there is auto keyboard rotation so this option will uh, basically enable or disable uh, the keyboard when uh, this will enable or disable rotation when uh, uh, when uh, the keyboard shows up so you can enable or disable this option as you want and then we have got uh, disable uh, full screen keyboard and show the enter key battery saving uh, you can uh, use a sensor block per package so this will uh, basically block access to certain sensors for some apps to save battery you can use this option if you want to and then there is an alarm blocker so you can it uh, this lists uh, the various alarms that are there and then again you can see the wave right animation so you can select uh, which uh, if you want to block any alarms then you can do that from in here and there is a wake lock blocker too uh, and uh, then in the end you have got uh, you can use suspend actions to save up on some more battery juice uh, you can configure switch to 2g when the screen is off disable mobile data disable gps you can enable or uh, enable these settings as and how you want and uh, then in the end we have got uh, time and states this will show you how much time the device has spent in uh, different uh, cpu states and in the end we have got those settings and under miscellaneous you can choose a media scanner behavior on boot usb configuration the default option that you want and then we have got wake up on charge launch music app and then we have got screen record options uh, you can choose the quality and then we have got uh, the screenshot type you can choose from full or partial screenshots okay so a lot of options uh, this is a really really customizable rom then uh, we have got uh, those uh, usual uh, settings we have got uh, the battery settings uh, battery manager you can uh, choose whether or not uh, this is enabled automatically you can choose or not whether this should be able to limit uh, the battery usage for apps um, and uh, battery saver you can uh, turn this on automatically and you can uh, select at what percentage and uh, battery saver dark mode so this will turn on dark mode if you want to on when whenever the battery saver is active and then there is a battery charge warning and uh, i really like this feature so when uh, whenever you can set the battery level so when uh, the battery reaches this level of percentage it will uh, disable it will play a ringtone and uh, that will alert you that uh, the battery has been charged to that level battery info you can uh, view the number of charge cycles the current temperature capacity it's this is a 4000 mh battery but it's not showing that anyway you can uh, view the battery health and uh, the current uh, status and uh, from uh, the three dotted menu you can uh, track your uh, battery usage these are uh, the detailed stats that you can view and i'll just go back and uh, for uh, the poco f1 users by the way uh, we don't have that uh, option for uh, changing the thermal profiles uh, probably that's only included in lineage os right now probably the havoc os will include that in the future but that feature is only available for uh, lineage os for now okay display settings you can uh, change the brightness level night light uh, you can change the schedule turn at custom time or from sunrise to sunset and uh, lower brightness in night light you can uh, enable you can tweak this uh, and then we have got adaptive brightness um, and then you also have got uh, the sleep time most limit uh, the minimum is 15 seconds and the maximum is 30 minutes and rotation 180 degrees rotation is there and there is also an option for uh, rotating the lock screen and screen saver you can uh, use uh, either the clock or colors for as your default screen saver or maybe some other app if you have got that kind of an app installed maybe you can select that too and then uh, double tap to wake anywhere on the screen this is only meant for uh, devices that support or uh, double tap to wake for uh, poco f1 this option uh, worked flawlessly i didn't have any problems and uh, then we have got uh, prevent accidental uh, wake up uh, i usually have this option enabled uh, there is some uh, issue of ghost touching on that I have uh, uh, seen on my poco f1 so i have this option enabled and uh, uh, it helps in uh, preventing those ghost touches so you can enable the or disable this if you want to and then i have already covered up uh, the simulator display with a cutout option sound settings uh, so you can change the different volume levels and uh, you can change the ringtone for uh, the sim 1 and sim 2 and this is a really nice uh, ringtone picker that we have in here and uh, 
I think this was uh, included. This has been ported from uh, the Google Pixel phones. Uh, there are a couple of uh, sound packs to choose from. Uh, if you tap on currently set. Then uh, you can see that we have got a really nice, uh, this is a really nice collection of uh, sounds. So you can choose from any one of them. I'm uh, particularly a fan of uh, the user interface that uh, Havoc OS has used, even though it's a ported user interface, but still it's a really good one. Uh, then uh, there are a lot of sound packages to choose from, classical harmonies, minimal melodies, real reality bites, retro riffs. So you can choose from anything and just look at the user interface, man. This is something really amazing. Okay. Um, so, and uh, the user interface is uh, constant throughout uh, every uh, type of sound, you, uh, be it uh, notification sound, alarm sound or anything. And uh, then we have got uh, uh, a bunch of sounds that you can enable or disable. And uh, there is vibration for charging too. And in the end, we have got uh, the direct sound enhancer. And this is only uh, applicable for certain devices right now it's available for uh, the Mi 8 and uh, the Pocophone F1 um, so for uh, the Pocophone users I usually advise uh, all uh, the, all uh, the Mi 8 or Poco users that just if you have got any of uh, these uh, listed headphones then you will obviously select that but in case you don't have that then just go out and uh, listen to the just change uh, the options change the headset type and see how the audio sounds and uh, similarly that is for uh, the sound presets if you have a particular preset in mind then you can choose that or if you not if you don't have an idea on how the sound is changed then just listen to uh, the audio from uh, the different presets and whichever one you like just enable that or you know you can just stick to the default values then we have got uh, storage uh, this is a really very lightweight ROM so uh, in fact I will just be showing you the apps that we have um, security and location uh, we have got uh, swipe uh, lock screen and uh, for uh, the pattern lock you can uh, you have uh, these grid size options and uh, here you can uh, change the lock screen message and uh, then we have got lock screen preferences so you can show all the notifications on the lock screen don't show notifications at all add users from lock screen and uh, lock screen messages present there again fingerprint i didn't have any problems with that it worked fine and also smart lock work fine uh, for uh, the poco phone users and in fact i'll just quickly go ahead and uh, set a okay and now i'll go to smart lock and uh, got it and trusted face so for uh, the POCO users, uh, the IR camera worked fine, so you can see. It uh, registers my face and uh, if you would remember we had got uh, auto face, uh, we had the auto face unlock option turned on. So there we go. It's, uh, it's quite fast and uh, then in the end we have got uh, all those uh, basic set of options okay um, accessibility I don't think we have got anything to cover up in here uh, power button and scroll this option is here too and mono audio is here too um, digital well-being all of you would be familiar with that I'm not going to cover this option again um, system uh, the ROM does come with its uh, built-in OT updater and uh, I'll quickly go ahead and uh, enable uh, the developer options. One, two, three, four. Okay, so the developer options have now been enabled. Um, so you can set mock location from in here. Uh, there are uh, the different Bluetooth codec options that you can choose from animation settings. Uh, GPU settings and uh, GPU rendering for those of you who want to track how the ROM is performing in terms of frames then uh, you can see that uh, well there is some lag but uh, I think that's maybe because what I have noticed is that uh, whenever I'm using a screen recorder then uh, there is a drop in the frames but usually I have not seen this uh, drops 
but uh, what i can tell you is that uh, the scrolling works fine but it's just that when i have a screen recorder turned on then uh, there is this large amount of lag but it's not there by default so just turn this off and then in the end if you want to force allow apps on external storage force the activities to be resizable there's an option for that okay so i'll go back and that's all what we have in the settings menu uh as far as the apps that you get uh, you get uh, a calculator and the camera this is the stock uh, usb camera not many number of features you can just maybe take a couple of pictures and you know uh, change the resolution and all that but there's uh, not much to play around with google camera worked fine for me and there's an inbuilt gallery applications uh, which has a nice photo editor built in and there is also option for swipe controls for changing the brightness volume levels and for seeking the video and uh, there is uh, no browser there's a clock application just the there's no bloatware at all so uh, let's get to the benchmarks now now a couple of you asked me to do that so uh, that's why i'm showing you uh, results and uh, history so i did this one just a while back so these are uh, the benchmark results and uh, uh, in terms of uh, in comparison of performance with other roms this is uh, one of the roms that uh, does perform a lot uh, and let's get to geekbench and in Geekbench, uh, uh, the scores for uh, the Poco F1 were just uh, below average, I would say. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, Lineage OS, Wealth Reduction Remix, all of them uh, scored higher in terms of uh, benchmarks in uh, Geekbench. And uh, and Tutu, I got a score of about 265,000. I think uh, the maximum that I have got is in Lineage OS, that was about 280,000. And uh, this is uh, the second highest score there. And uh, PC Mark. I got uh, this uh, score of 10,844. This is uh, the highest that I have uh, seen on uh, any ROM. In fact, uh, 8364 was uh, the score on, uh, I think this was a Resurrection Remix, and 8186 was uh, the score on uh, Lineage OS. So clearly, this uh, ROM does perform well, too, even in terms of uh, benchmarks. And uh, obviously, I didn't have any, I didn't notice any lag. Everything uh, worked fine mostly. And uh, now to sum it all off, I will uh, just show you the wallpapers that we get. Uh, the ROM does come with Google wallpapers and there is only one uh, wallpaper that is pre-built into the ROM. And uh, widgets, uh, these are what you get. And by the KV browser is not included. Okay, so uh, that's all for uh, this video guys. I hope you like this video. It, this was a long video but uh, Again, I think it uh, makes uh, sense for uh, such a feature rich ROM to have uh, such a long video. So uh, I hope you like this video. If uh, that was the case, uh, give this video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel for uh, more ROM reviews and uh, other tech videos. So thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Take care and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Sayonara.